All right, my friends. Now let us start with question number forty-five. Now it is from milling machine. Again, machining operations. Uh, it says a block of length two hundred mm is machined by a slab milling cutter. Thirty-four mm in diameter. The depth of cut and table feed are given as two mm and eighteen mm per minute, respectively. Considering the approach and over travel of the cutter to be same, the minimum estimated machining time per pass in minutes you have to find out, right? So it's a very simple problem. First of all, you need to understand that uh, what is the machining time per pass? How do you calculate the machining time per pass? Actually, it is given by Uh, we are solving question number forty-five, right? So the machining time is given by L by F, right? And uh, actually length by uh, length divided by table feed, and uh, yeah. So this is E. This is same. Yeah. Now the thing is that you need to understand that what is this length? Because this length is not just two hundred mm, right? It is not just 200 mm, but there is one approach length plus over travel. Okay, there is approach length and over travel length also, and the table feed is given to you as 18 minutes, uh, 18 mm per minute, right? So, uh, and one more thing is given to you that the approach and over travel of the cutter are same, so we don't have to worry about uh, uh, individually about both of them. So. Uh, let us firstly find out the approach length and why the approach length is necessary approach length is necessary in order to completely machine the surface at once right if you do not provide the uh, the approach length there are chances see there are uh, there are two things actually uh, let me tell you if you talk about the approach length and over travel firstly approach length is given to you for suppose uh, This is my workpiece, right? You can see this is my workpiece, suppose. And if I start uh, the machining at just by keeping the cutter over here, so what will happen is that this cutter is going to suppose it is just on the edge. So what will happen is it this cutter is going to take uh, take some time to come up it to its maximum velocity. Let us take the example of shaper. So in shaping tool, the tool is kept over here, and it will take some time. Uh, to reach its maximum velocity, and uh, then it has to, uh, I mean, slow down also, so that it can stop over here. So you can see that the initial areas and the final areas are not witnessing the maximum velocity of the cutting tool, right? So for that, uh, what we do is we provide a little bit of approach length and over travel, so that this tool can reach its maximum velocity by by the time it reaches this point, and it. Stays at this maximum velocity till it finishes uh, or it covers this distance up to this point. After which it can slow down and eventually stop and come back for the next pass, right? So this is uh, the concept, right? So the similar thing happens in case of machining operation also, right? Right. And uh, apart from that, in machining operation, there is one more thing that is known as compulsory approach that we need to uh, we need to uh, determine, and uh, we will be determining that through this equation I am going to tell. And uh, since nothing else is given to you, we are going to consider this as the approach and the same as the over travel. Okay. So the approach and over travel, let's say AP, is equal to OT, and it is given by Under root of d d minus. Now you must be wondering what is small d, what is capital D, right? So small d is nothing but it is the depth of cut which is given to you. I think it's two mm is given to you. Yes. So d is nothing but small d is nothing but the depth of cut which is two and d capital D is thirty four and yeah, that's all. So you will see that it comes out to be eight mm, right? So this is nothing but your approach length and over travel. Simply add that thing over here, and you will get the machining time. It will be two one six divided by eighteen, and it is going to be around twelve minutes. This is going to be a answer. 